everyone, welcome back to Can't Win With Kids, the exciting series that I've got going on. Um, I think the penny's finally dropped with all this uh, league structure stuff. So I did intend on, at the end of the last episode, of skipping past the Copa do not est, because I thought, oh, it's just a cup. People don't want to see cup football. But then, things have started to become clear. The Copa do not est has a group stage. So obviously, four teams will get through against the four teams from there and then there'll be playoffs and stuff so we do want to see this because there's a potential we could get knocked out but also I've worked out what's going off with the Pernambuco State Championship playoffs as well so it weren't let me just go back to the league table it weren't the top two of this state plays a top two of another state so if you remember in the last episode these four broke off they've got their own little playoff then these four broke off third to sixth now the two winners of these are now playing Nautico and Santa Cruz. So that's where the playoff semi-final and final comes in. Obviously, playing finishing first and second, the incentive is you don't have to go through the round that they've had to go through, so it's one less game. Um, and then the winner of this plays the winner of the easy one, and the winner of second plays the winner of the more tough one, in theory. So we have got Central PE in the semi-final of that playoff. We've also got CRB in the first game of our Copa do Nordeste um, group stage this time. I didn't want to do that all in the intro because I needed to show you the league table. So the intro was very quick today. Normally I go through what you're going to see. But like I said, I needed to show you the league tables for that. So... We did beat Salguero 5-2, as you remember. Um, we'll skip the Juventud game. Today, like I said, we're going to play CRB in the Copa do Donest and the semi-final of the Pernambuco State Championship. We're already at the CRB game. Um, there's not really a great deal to change in terms of the team, so we're just going to go with what we've got and what's been doing well. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you the Copa do Nordest is because these are teams that are better than us, some of them. CRB are in the league above us. Um, I was just going to play it and get through uh, a couple of games and come back for like the semi-final and then the second leg against Juventud. But because these are teams that's higher up than we are, I thought it would be a proper test. Obviously, <laughs> the games that we've been having recently have been a little on the easy side. Uh, we've kind of walked the Pernambuco State Championship. Uh, we've done quite well in the uh, cup that we've been playing in as well for the first couple of rounds. So, coming up against the team in Serie B, now the series gets interesting. I was kind of in a half a mind of, is it a little bit too easy for us? Have I picked a, a team that's too good? Um, but... Now we get to challenge the teams above us and see what we can do against these guys. It's not going bad so far. Uh, William Shamoz has got a throw on the left-hand side. It doesn't really come to anything, but Siobhan's going to pick that up. He's found William Shamoz again. He's got the cross in. It's deep to Brian. That one never going to go in. That would have needed to loop. Um, quite even looking at the stats. We've got a free kick, is it, on the edge of the box? Yep. Shamoz can hit these. We know him. There he is! Shimoas. He is a free kick specialist. He's like... Forget Roberto Carlos. He only scored like one. So I don't know why everybody raves about him. But William Shimoas can hit a free kick on the regular. And he is doing it for us. There is Chiesa. The... Probably one of the oldest players we've got. Shimoas is in again. Oh, he skips past his man. He's unlucky with the second one, but... The trickery there, I'm sure it was just the match engine that made it look like he was moonwalking. In real life, I am picturing him doing step overs and stuff getting through there. There's Brian now on the right hand side to Hereda. In comes the cross, but Junior's added that over. He would have had to do well to get it in from that angle. So far, so good. We're playing against a decent team in a league above us, and we are holding our own. We'll give him a bit of encouragement for the second half. We've had the better of the, the stats. There's Igor. The clearance is picked up by Hereda. He's come inside. Plays it out wide to Wanderson. He's tackled, but Samoas picks that up. There's the cross. Junior, it's the angle. It's that. Ah. Oh. 
We're doing well. I'm liking it. So it's, it's a fun save. There's a cross coming in. I didn't see who it was from because the highlight started while the ball were in flight. I'm assuming it was Shimowers because he's the one that does a lot of crossing. Brian stolen that gears is in. Is it the post? Oh, that could have been two. The only thing that's keeping us off the top of the table is this goal difference. CSA and Bayer have all got two apiece. Fortaleza are winning 2 1. So let's have a look at making some changes. Wanderson's having a poor game. Carvalho can come on. Um, Javan's playing badly as well. Waguinho. Um, let's leave the last sub just for now. How we're only 1 0 up with those stats is. Well, it's baffling. Oh, the the, the keeper, the, the guy with the camera's not keeping up with football. <laughs> ooh, a bit, ooh, shit, football. Junior's in, he's one-on-one, -on -one. what's he going to do? He's going to fluff it. you got to love this game and it's one-on-ones. He's run from the halfway line with no challenge whatsoever. and so, Nah, I'm not going to score. be too easy, wouldn't it? Shimawa's, I said it out, ooh, they've got a Brian as well. Brian versus Brian. Jorg Enrique with a fantastic challenge. We're into injury time now. Carvalho gets that clear. Kiez has picked it up. Get it up the field, lad. Go on. Finds a raider who finds our Brian. There's the cross. That's Jorg Enrique. That's 2-0. That's game over. And we are proving that we can compete against teams above us. The Nielsen. So that'd be good if that was the Dean Nielsen. Probably about 50 now, but what a quality player he was. Oh, great tackle from Hereda. Could have quite easily gone wrong that, but he's, he's got in there and stole the ball away beautifully. There is De Nielsen. Cosende. De Nielsen again. Just run the clock down, lads. That's going out. Jefferson served it. Easy peasy. They're, um, they've decided to start playing football now. You know, after it's a bit late, but whatever. <laughs> Victor Souza. Just seen out time, I think, now. Until the last 15 seconds. Let them pass it about a little bit. There's De Nielsen again. Brian. Good block from Hereda. Corner comes in from Rafael Languini. He's a pasta there. It's Longuine, but Linguini. And there we are, two 0 win. Okay, so we have now got our Pernambuco State Championship playoff semi final. Um we've got a bit of a suspension at right back, Hereda can't play, so I do not actually have another option. I've brought Williams out of our reserve team, so it'll give him a bit of a chance to get a game. Uh, apart from that, the team is unchanged, so we are going to go in and see what we can do in this. You would expect us to get quite comfortably through here, considering the only team that didn't beat us... No, the only team that we didn't beat, makes more sense, was Santa Cruz. Um, we've obviously beaten these already this season. Pernambuco State, there we are. Santa Cruz are paying support receive. So, you, you would like to think that this is us through. William Samoas has got the corner. Javon's picked that up. There's Brian, come inside, bottom corner, seven minutes in. And there's the first goal. You, you Yeah, it's like, like I was saying, you, you would expect us to win this quite comfortably considering how we went through the actual group stage of this. The only Santa Cruz that didn't that we didn't beat and that were a nil nil draw. We've we've not lost the entire way through this, so Williams got a got a cross in decent, bless him. I don't know why I said bless him, it's, it's like he's a five year old. He's, he's a youngster coming through. I'm, I'm, the idea of this save is to give youngsters the game time, so why not? Shimo is, is tackled by Estraz. One of my players just fell over. Ribeiro to Alves. Nice, calm passing play. There's Brian with a cross. 
Junior just David Nugent in him. I think that were going in. He just got robbed. Shimoas with a free kick. That's gone in as well. It's three. Now that's been on goal. Evandro. Wow. 3 0. 20 minutes gone. Santa Cruz have yet to strike. Williams with a throw. It's not a bad one. He's picked it back up. He's plays it back to Alves. There's Enrique. Brian Williams again. Come on, get an assist. I want him to have a good game. It's just, it'd be nice to see some of these reserve players come in and just play well and give me a bit of something to think about for next season. Because at the minute, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> we need to see what the youth intake's like. Gazer's over the bar. Obviously, if we go get promoted to Serie B, I, d I don't know if we're playing the Pernambuco State Championship every year. Judging by the past winners, I believe we do. So I'm not too worried about this championship next season. I'll probably skip a lot of it for you um, if we get promoted and probably just show you most of the Copa uh, Serie B and the um, Copa do no Dest because that's the one where the bigger teams are. I mean, we're falling up after half an hour. This competition is more like a friendly cup at this point. It's, it's kind of redundant. It's just extra games to show you really, isn't it? I mean, I've shown you it this time round because I, I honestly didn't know the league structure. Um, and I didn't particularly want to start the first episode of a brand new series halfway through the season. So I keep looking at the microphone. I need to stop doing that. So yeah, I, I, I didn't particularly want to, to start in like March. But <laughs> we know for next season. You don't particularly need to see these games. I could probably come back to you with the final or whatever. And then just show you was win it. Moetia. Good, good effort. Fair play to him. Took the shot on. He needed... Santa Cruz are losing. We've already beat Sport Recife once this season. That could be a good result for us. There could be the potential that we've already won this. Um, let's have a look at some changes. Max Lenin can come on. Camutango, maybe? Yeah, get Ribeiro off so I don't get sent off. Save the last one just for a little bit, because you know for a fact if I make three changes, I will get an injury. There it is, look. Jovan has taken quite a knock, so let's bring him off and bring Waginio on. This is game over. If spot oh spot receive for knocking Santa Cruz for six. Look at this. Not six goals, knocking them for six. It's a, it's an English term, it's related to cricket. I mean hit them really hard. And I'm still looking at my microphone as if it's my camera. That's a good win. Great way to end the episode. Um I'm going to be playing through the Juventude game off camera because it's irrelevant. Um I'm going to come back for the Kiera and well, it's going to be Sport Receive, isn't it? Because that's the player final. Uh, depending which one of these dates it is, we'll play those two games for that next episode. So, thank you everybody for watching. The running, winning streak keeps going on. If you've enjoyed, please do all the YouTube stuff. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications to keep up to date with my FN20 content, and I'll catch you in the next episode.